what we've got here is the first screen that you would come to let's say you've never used illustrator before and this is what you're presented with so it can be completely daunting when you look at it like this let's break things down a little bit and let's look at how we can use all of these things in in a very very uh, simple easy um, logical way so we're going to start off on this side over here on this left hand side and you've got this toolbar with all of these icons and if you have no idea what they are don't worry about it that's what we're going to go through but first of all we're going to start with our top two arrows at the top here so you have a selection tool um, and the bracketed letter at the end of that little uh, fly out tells you that selection tool is a shortcut of V so if you wanted to get to the selection tool quickly without going to this toolbar all the time you can use the shortcut of V on the keyboard and it's worth remembering some of these um, I use some of them a lot and I use some of them very very rarely and have to keep looking them up and that's fine you can do that when you need something and you're doing a specific workflow and you're gonna hear me say workflow a lot workflow is simply the system that you use from going from one thing to another so selection tool V this is what you're going to use to select things now I have a I have a blank screen here a blank piece of paper as it were but let's say for example I had a lovely square uh, in black and we're going to just take that stroke off if I wanted to move this square around the page I'm going to use my selection tool and I can click and hold and drag it and I can also interact with the handles around it. I can also interact with these little bits here which give us nice curvy corners and to go back I'm just using the command Z or command Z which is go back one step it's it's as simple as that so that's your selection tool uh, fairly easy fairly simple um, just allows you to manipulate things uh, around the board and interact with paths handles uh, those sorts of things we then have just underneath it this little tool which is called the direct selection tool and again the shortcut on that one is a as you can just see here hover over it again and you've got direct select so the difference between these two is the black selection tool selects an entire object it will select the whole object even if I drag over one of these points it will just select the entire object and allow you to interact with that object as a whole okay if we then go to the direct selection tool if you click into the item yes it has interacted with the entire object but it has a nuance to it which is essentially if I drag and click over this corner you'll see how this corner is now a solid blue and we've got our little dot here for a curved corner but these ones these anchor points these handles have not been selected so if I now just interact by clicking and holding and moving that one point you can see I've got direct control over one point not the entire object but one point and again if I just wanted a lovely curve from here to here I use my direct selection tool I select the corner and drag my little cursor bit and then I get this lovely tool so those two tools are probably the two tools you will interact with the most regardless of what you're doing within Illustrator you are going to re interact with those two tools the most during your whole process so it's really worth just taking a little bit of time to get to understand those tools what they do how they work what's going on with them and what you do with them Thanks for joining me today. In the meantime, click that subscribe button and keep up to date with all of my videos and join me again for the next part in the Illustrator 101 tutorial series. Thanks guys.